And welcome to People's Internet Radio News. From the chat box today, this story caught my attention. Injunction granted against the Master of High Court. This is in the Irish Examiner. Edmund Honaghan, as we all know, is the Master of the High Court. And yesterday, Mr. Justice Michael Perry granted AIB an interim injunction preventing Master Honaghan from acting on his DPP referral decision before the matter comes back before the court later this month. Now, what's interesting about this, uh, feel free to pause and read. Um, the Master refused to transfer a special summons brought by AIB against Mr. Farrell for a hearing in the main judge's list of the High Court. He also said he was referring the papers to the DPP for alleged perjury. Now, Mr. Fanning said when the Master was challenged as to his jurisdiction for doing so, he said he was doing it in his capacity as a private citizen. That's one to watch, folks. That's very, very unusual uh, that he would act in that manner. Clearly, he feels he has uh, a very good reason for doing so. While we're on the subject, um, his brother, of course, Patrick Honan, um, gave a very interesting address on the 10th of March 2014 um, at the Royal Irish Academy. And uh, he is governor of the Central Bank of Ireland, which again is quite interesting. Another story in the Examiner, Midwife's Memorial reveals the horror of Bespera House. Now, this is in relation to um, the poor unfortunates who found themselves in these homes slash industrial Magdalen laundries and industrial schools, the length and breadth of Ireland, where recently, of course, we've heard uh, almost 800 dead babies were found in a septic tank, which, of course, a septic tank was a receptacle for um, lavatory effluent. Uh, don't know whether it was cleaned out prior to its use. Uh, haven't found that out yet. However, um, this story is mentioning the fact that uh, the women in childbirth were offered no pain relief and basically they were told to uh, just deal with it and deal with it quietly. Thus, the, um, the system perpetuated itself. In the Irish Mirror, Tume Survivor, many children will be there one day and gone the next. They simply disappeared. And this is from uh, John Rogers, who, who he tells, and he tells the disease was rife and kids would vanish overnight at a hellish home where a mass unmarked grave was found. And it does beg the point, um, you know, if any other institution other than the church um, had a grave of 800 dead babies, immediately the, um, the Cardiche Econa would lock down the place and declared the area to be a crime scene and I imagine arrests would be made pretty sharpish. Yet with the church, seemingly, they can uh, make some restitution by putting up a plaque across uh, a, a memorial as if, oh we're sorry, we didn't really mean it. When in fact we know they did because uh, it's not the first and it won't be the last of these we will discover. I've been talking about these on People's Internet Radio, TNS Radio, MSI Radio for over five years now, saying that we the people need to take this in hand. We need to go to these homes ourselves in a group and find the mass graves. Also, the famine graves, the so-called famine, I should say, all those graves need to be found and marked as well by we the people, the sovereign people of this land. They are our ancestors buried there. They are not members of the church and they were not citizens of any state. They were not treated like that. We the people need to do something about this. Don't forget to uh, check out we the people, uh, we the people .ie. Also, we have uh, People's Internet Radio Facebook group. Uh, you can see it there. And, um, you know, get involved. There's a, a player on Facebook here. You can listen directly from the Facebook player to your, uh, from, from your computer. And as you can see, uh, the mass grave has uh, got a lot of attention. I see prime time here, we're covering something in the 5th of the 6th, 2014. This issue needs to be resolved. We the people need to step up. Now, I'm, I'm also going to talk about water meters now. This is the Water Services Act 2013. As you can see, it has the Sovereign Seal lacking era underneath. Therefore, this is not uh, part of the sovereignty of the nation. However, we'll skip down to this part here. I want you to have a look at this. 
in this legislation, and it is legislation people need to stop calling legislation law, an act to make provision in relation to the installation and maintenance of water meters in dwellings. Okay, in dwellings. That's very important that you understand that. I see there's a lot of people out there complaining about the water meters being forcibly installed, and they are being forcibly installed, and on Garda Shiakana seem to be um, supporting the side of the water meter installation uh, company, Ishka Aaron. And this is the legislation they are relying upon, apparently, to forcibly install those meters in dwellings. Now, the interesting thing about that is this is Bunregner here in 1937 edition. The dwelling of every citizen is inviolable and shall not be forcibly entered save in accordance with law. Note that says with law, not positive law. However, the point I'd like to make here is if Irish Water are doing so, or Ishka Aaron, in dwellings, then the people who, um, who do not want their water meter installed should be calling the Garda Síochána and saying somebody is forcibly entering my dwelling and that they have a complaint in that regard. That will empower on Garda Síochána to act against whomever is forcing uh, entry to your dwelling and I will tell you why. There is also what's known as positive law in the Constitution. You'll see with law, just law on its own like this and then if you skip forward to Article 41.11 you'll see the likes of this positive law. Now, what is positive law? Positive law, this was looked up in uh, Modern Legal Usage, Volume 2, I believe, written by Brian A. Garner. This term is sometimes used with little idea of its precise sense. Positive law, referring primarily to statutes and regulations, might be defined as coercively implemented law laid down with a particular political community by political superiors to govern members of the community as distinct from moral law or law existing in an ideal community or in some non-political community. So if Irish Water are relying on this legislation to fit a metre in your dwelling, Outside of your property line, most people don't realise, is actually the centre of the road. When you purchase your property in Ireland, you own to the centre of the road. And the portion of property outside your front uh, garden gate, the footpath, etc., that is still your property. Now, even if it's been handed over, inverted commas, handed over to the council, it is still your property too. Uh, which is why, for example, if somebody trips outside your doorway and if the, it hasn't been handed over to the council, they can sue you because it's your property. If they trip and it is handed over and they hurt themselves and they decide to sue the council, they can do so, but they could also choose to sue you. They could choose to sue you too. Now, if you do not want a water meter fitted and you call on Garda Síochána, you should be very polite, give a name and address and tell them that you have a complaint somebody is trying to force their way into your dwelling if the water services company chooses to say we're not forcibly installing water meters into your dwelling then what legislation are they referring to or relying upon to fit the water meters in the first place then either they are fitting them in dwellings as this clearly says here or they are not that's it from People's Internet Radio News for today, folks. To uh, join the site, get involved, check us out on Facebook, and uh, talk to you all soon.